Gulf Islands National Park Reserve is the sixth of eight national park reserves in a system of 46 parks and park reserves across Canada. Located in British Columbia's Gulf Islands, it covers 36 square kilometres 14 square miles over 15 islands. It also includes numerous islets and reef areas. Wildlife <inaudible> 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 Orcas, porpoises, seals, and otters swim within the estuaries. Eagles, falcons, and turkey vultures soar around this park reserve. Getting there Main Island, Pender Island and Saturna Island are all serviced by BC Ferries 1. Schedules vary seasonally by island. Float plane service is available from the Vancouver International Airport and Victoria Airports to the larger islands of Maine, Pender and Saturna too. Sydney Spit on Sydney Island is serviced by a privately operated walk-on ferry. Dinghy docks are available at Winter Cove, Saturna Island, Roseland, Pender Island, Russell Island, and at Princess Bay and Royal Cove on Portland Island. All marine accessible GINPR properties have beach accesses suitable for pulling up kayaks, canoes or small boats. Cabbage Island, Sydney Spit Sydney Island, and Beaumont Pender Island all offer mooring buoys to larger marine vessels. Dock space is available at Sydney Spit Sydney Island. Many companies offer marine charters to Gulf Islands National Park Reserve. Refer to the licensed operators list on the GINPR website for a list of business licensed to operate in GINPR 3. The islands Cabbage Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve offers five kayak in or boat in backcountry campsites on Cabbage Island. There is no potable water available on Cabbage Island and no campfires are allowed, regardless of season. Darcy Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve offers seven kayak in or boat in backcountry campsites on Darcy Island. There is no potable water available on Darcy, and no campfires are permitted, regardless of season. Isle de Lee or Rum Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve offers three kayak in or boat in backcountry campsites on Isle de Lee Rum Island. There is no potable water available, and there are no campfires allowed, regardless of season. Neighboring Gooch Island is private property, do not trespass. Main Island Hiking, there is an easy 1.5 km loop trail at Bennett Bay that leads to Campbell Point. Campbell Point features remnant old-growth forest and views of Jirgison Island. Bennett Bay has a sandy beach which is suitable for sunbathing and swimming. For Georgina Point is the location of a historic lighthouse. Built in 1885, the Georgina Point Lighthouse marks the entrance to Active Pass. Orca whales, harbor seals and seabirds can all be seen at Georgina Point. McDonald Campground Vancouver Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve offers 49 drive-in, front country campsites at McDonald Campground, which is located near the quaint town of Sydney by the sea. McDonald Campground's proximity to the Swartz Bay Ferry Terminal 4 makes it an excellent base of operations for exploring the southern Gulf Islands. Municipal bus service into Sydney, Victoria, or to the Swartz Bay Ferry Terminal is also available from McDonald Campground. McDonald Campground offers amenities like potable water, pit toilets, picnic tables and fire pits seasonally available. Pender Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve has three options for campers on Pender, the drive-in, front-country sites at Prior Centennial Campground or the walk-in or boat-in backcountry sites at Shingle Bay and Beaumont. Prior Centennial has 17 reservable sites and amenities include potable water, pit toilets, picnic tables and fire pits seasonally available. Shingle Bay has 10 reservable sites and amenities include pit toilets and picnic tables. Beaumont has 11 sites, and amenities include pit toilets, picnic tables, and 15 mooring buoys for boaters. There is no potable water at Beaumont or Shingle Bay and no campfires are permitted at either location, regardless of season. Hiking, a difficult 1.5 km trail at Beaumont leads from the Ainsley Point parking lot to the shoreline via steep switchbacks that cut through dense temperate rainforest. 
The difficult 1.5 km trail at Mount Norman ascends 244 metres to a panoramic lookout with views of the San Juan Islands. The moderate 1.5 km trail at Roe Lake meanders through the Shingle Bay uplands to one of the southern Gulf Islands only freshwater lakes. Portland Island or Princess Margaret Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve offers 24 kayak in or boat in backcountry campsites at three locations on Portland Island, six at Shell Beach, 12 at Princess Bay and six at Arbutus Point. There is no potable water available on Portland Island and no campfires are allowed, regardless of season. Hiking, a 6.5 km loop trail follows the shoreline of Portland Island, and is accessible from any of the three camping areas Shell Beach, Princess Bay, Arbutus Point. This moderately challenging hike requires approximately three hours to complete, but can be shortened to about one hour by taking one of the Cross Island Forest Trails. Prevost Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve offers 10 kayak in or boat in backcountry campsites at James Bay on Prevost Island. There is no potable water available on Prevost Island and no campfires are allowed, regardless of season. Russell Island Hiking, a moderate 1 km loop trail from the boat access that leads to the historic Mahoy House. Saturna Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve offers seven walk-in or kayak-in backcountry campsites at Narvaez Bay on Saturna Island. The trailhead to Narvaez Bay is located at the parking lot at the end of Narvaez Bay Road. There is also a bike rack available for cyclists to lock up their bikes. There is no potable water at Narvaez Bay, and no campfires are permitted, regardless of season 10. Hiking, at Narvaez Bay, there is a challenging 2.5 km approximately, 1.5 hours trail to the viewpoint at Monarch Head. At Monarch Head there are views of Boundary Pass and the American San Juan Islands 3. At East Point, there is a sand and pebble beach for sunbathing and swimming. Harbor seals, sea lions, river otter, dolls porpoise and orca whales are commonly seen from East Point. The Lyle Creek Trail, 2 km, approximately. 40 minutes one way cuts through second-growth Douglas fir forest to a waterfall that feeds into one of the southern Gulf Islands' only salmon-bearing creeks. At 397 meters 1 feet Mount Warburton Pike is Saturna Island's highest point. At Mount Warburton Pike there are panoramic views of Vancouver Island, the southern Gulf Islands and the San Juan Islands. Feral goats, bald eagles, turkey vultures and falcons can all be seen from Mount Warburton Pike. At Winter Cove, the 1.5 km loop trail travels through Skunk Cabbage Wetland, Spruce Salal Upland and Salt Marsh, before arriving at the turbulent waters of Boat Pass. Sydney Spit on Sydney Island Camping, Gulf Islands National Park Reserve offers 26 backcountry campsites at Sydney Spit on Sydney Island. Sydney Island is accessible from May until September by private marine vessel or by the privately operated walk on passenger ferry that departs daily from the town of Sydney. Potable water is available at Sydney Spit, but because of high sodium content it should not be consumed by those with heart or kidney ailments. There are also pit toilets available, 21 mooring buoys and a sheltered group picnicking area which can be reserved in advance by calling the Gulf Islands National Park Reserve Office 1-866-944-1744. Hiking, an easy 2 km loop trail with cross trails, as well as 1.5 km spur trails. Tumbo Island Hiking, a gentle 3.5 km trail provides ocean views of Cabbage Island and the San Juan Islands. <laughs> <laughs> Learning experiences Interpretive programs are held from June through September on the larger islands of Saturna and Pender, as well as on Sydney Spit Sydney Island. The Russell Island Host Program is a collaboration between Parks Canada and the Mahoy family. The Russell Island hosts are descendants of Maria Mahoy, a pioneering woman of Kanaka Hawaiian, and First Nations descent. The Fog Alarm Building FAB at East Point on Saturna Island was rehabilitated by members of the Saturna Heritage Committee FIVE. In the summer months, visitors can speak with FAB volunteers and learn about Saturna Island's cultural heritage. The Row House at Roseland on Pender Island is a 1908 farmhouse that was rehabilitated by members of the Pender Islands Museum Society 6. In the summer months, visitors can speak with Row House volunteers and learn about Pender Islands cultural heritage. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Areas included in the park. Beaumont Mount Norman, South Pender Island. Bennett Bay, Main Island. Blunden Islet authorized access only. Brackman Island authorized access only. Cabbage Island. Channel Islands authorized access only. Darcy Island. Jirgison Island authorized access only. Georgina Point, Main Island. Greenburn Lake, South Pender Island. The islets authorized access only. James Bay and Selby Cove, Prevost Island. Loretta's Wood, North Pender Island. Lyle Creek, Saturna Island. McDonald Park Campground, Sydney. Mount Warburton Pike, Saturna Island. Narvaez Bay Day Use Area, Saturna Island. Portlock Point, Prevost Island. Princess Margaret, Portland Island. Prior Centennial Campground, North Pender Island. Roseland, Row Lake, North Pender Island. Isle de Lee, Rum Island. Russell Island. Sydney Spit, Sydney Island. Taylor Point Day Use Area, Saturna Island. Tumbo Island Day Use Area. Winter Cove Day Use Area, Saturna Island. Topic. See also. National Parks of Canada List of National Parks of Canada